Let us have a look at one of the designs that is based on TIS TPS 92310. This is a standard tube light design, 18 volt tube light. The input specifications are 85 volts to 265 volts universal AC input. The output is 42 volts at 420 milliamperes, which is isolated from the input. As we see from the design, the front end is required for EMI EMC filtering and meeting the standard. This is the standard snubber circuit for flyback. The power stage includes the transformer, the MOSFET and the secondary side includes secondary rectifying diode and the bulk cap with LEDs being connected here. Additional circuitry can be added on the primary side to improve the line regulation because now we are not receiving any information from the secondary side. So the line regulation has to be maintained. Let us have a look at the test results of the design that we just discussed. As seen, the power factor is greater than 0.9 throughout range. And with that line combustion circuit that we added, the line regulation has reached plus minus 3%, which is very good for a primary side controller. The efficiency throughout range is greater than 87%. As we increase voltage, we need to have secondary side information for better reliability. This is where TIS TPS 92210 comes into effect. If we have a look at the internal details, TPS 92210 is different from conventional flyback. This is the reason is that it has an internal cascoded switch. We do not switch the external MOSFET, rather we switch the internal low voltage MOSFET to perform the flyback action. The other protection features of this controller includes LED open circuit, LED over current. And this is a discontinuous mode controller. Let us have a look at one of the designs that is made by TPS 92210. The specifications of this design are input is universal AC input 85 to 265 volts. The output is 24 LEDs at 350 milliamperes, roughly 28 volt. As we now see, as compared to the previous design, we have added circuitry at the secondary side. The error amplifier, the second, secondary optocoupler, and some power supply is needed to power up the op-amps. The, again, the flyback stage has all the components similar to that of the previous design. The test results of this design are, as we see, power factor and THG performance are much better than the primary side controller. The output current is perfectly regulated and the efficiency is greater than 86% throughout range.